Welcome back to WFSU. I'm Megan Heiler with Harrison Watt, and we've got a jam-packed show for you. Not so fun fact, hoverboards are banned on campus here at Ferris State University and in all buildings on campus. According to Johnny Parshall of the Ferris State Torch, while it's a relatively new rule, they are indeed following a trend of many other major college campuses. There is a good reason though, the ban is due to a fire hazard as hoverboards are well known to spontaneously combust. The Detroit Tigers opened up their season with a classic bullpen collapse on the road in Miami. The Tigers did manage to hang on to an 8-7 extra innings victory over the Marlins thanks to the most attractive man in baseball pants, Ian Kinsler. Hey, Ian. Tigers also opened their home schedule last Friday in one of the coldest opening days in Comerica Park history. The coldest in Comerica Park history was opening day 2000 when the Tigers bested the Seattle Mariners in 36 degrees and sleet in the first ever game at Comerica Park. The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon is famous for their annex with celebrities, including lip sync battles. Though Fallon fought valiantly against rising superstar Melissa McCarthy, McCarthy stole the show with her rendition of Colors of the Wind from Pocahontas. What would you choose if you went on Lip Sync Battle? Definitely Ain't No Other Man by Christina Aguilera. What about you? I would choose Picture by Kid Rock and Cheryl Crow. Me being Kid Rock. Our quote of the day with Meg Heiler is from Naismith Basketball Hall of Famer Allen Iverson. After a former teammate alleged that he dropped as much as $40,000 on occasion at strip clubs. Iverson said, and I quote, First of all, it was like $9,000 at most. And there were never any strippers there at the TGI Fridays on City Line unless I brought them. Sometimes I brought a bunch. And I suppose in those cases, yes, the bill could get up to 40K because they didn't have endless appetizers back then." End quote. Finally, in Ferris State Athletics news, defenseman Brandon Anselmini made his professional hockey debut after leading all Ferris State defensemen in points this season with the ECHL's Orlando Solar Bears, becoming the fourth player from this year's team to jump to professional hockey. That'll wrap it up for WFSU this week. Thanks for watching.